Hello and welcome to another tutorial video from Basic Fishing. For this tutorial video, this is the most frequently requested subject by many people, which is what rig I use and how to tie them. So therefore, for today's video, I decided to do a tutorial video on how to tie a ledger rig. So this particular rig, the ledger rig, is the most commonly used rig. It is primarily used for bottom fishing and more suitable to use in deep or rough areas where presentation isn't too much of a fuss. This is one of the most simple and effective rig to use to target a huge range of different species of fish, especially the most popular species, the snapper, and can be used in any situation whether it is used off the wharf, rocks, beach, and off the boat. There are many of these styles, all pre-made and all ready to go as you can see here, and I've used many of them and gave me great results. Pre-made rigs comes in all different shapes, colors and sizes and are easily accessible. These pre-made rigs are great for complete beginners who aren't sure on how to tie their own rigs and for those who aren't too confident, I recommend getting these pre-made flasher rigs to start things off. When I first got these, I wasn't confident at first that they will work for land base, but when I gave them a go, I've been hooked ever since and caught so many good fish with these pre-made rigs. For those who don't believe me, I've caught my best snappers using these pre-made rigs, whether it was a classic snapper snatcher flasher rig or the newly introduced snapper snacks. So for those who don't believe me, here are some footages. Oh. Oh, big one! Oh, oh my god! That's a tight drag there and it's pulling line! I think this might be a bit bigger than my last one. Big snapper right there. Thank goodness I bought this. Yes! Uh, oh my god, that's my biggest snapper. That's my PP right there. Yeah. Oh. 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 Can you see the rod? Yep. <laughs> yeah, I'm having a drag very loose. <laughs> oh man, I already lost several fish today. Should I turn off my heads up? That's okay. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Oh, no. Oh, wait. Oh, I got the... I got the... Looks like it. Oh my god. Oh my god! Yes! Woo oh, that is... <laughs> That's a good oh one. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god, a snapper snake, they actually did it! Just as we were leaving, Peter pulls in a good snapper. Oh, I'll turn this off. Hold it up. Hey, I'll just get up. I'll get up. I'll get up. And you know what funny thing was? I was just winding it in and I saw that was my second was stuck on the ground but oh my god Look how fat it is Yeah I know No it's not tin but it's a good fish <laughs> Oh my god Yeah look at that a snapper snack Turn your light off. It's off again no. Oh man check that out on the snapper snack <laughs> Oh man I've worked really hard for this, but um, this was not even like a proper day, this is just a start. 
But man, check that out. On the snapper snack. So as you can see, I've caught many good fish with these flasher rigs. But let's not forget, with these rigs, I was also able to catch a lot of fish for dinner as well. But for those who wish to learn how to tie your own ledger rig instead of getting these pre-made flashes, stick around and I'll demonstrate on how to tie your own rig. So before you go to the tackle store, here are the components that are required to make your own ledger rigs. You'll need 50 to 80 pound traits, depending on where you fish in case there are toothy predators around or if you're fishing in rocky areas. Between 3 to 5 barrel hooks are ideal, and I particularly prefer using circle hooks, although you can prefer suicide hooks if you want to strike for your fish. Swivels to prevent line twists and also allow you to clip your trays on and off your main line. Snap swivels at the bottom to allow you to clip your sinker on and off. Luma beads to attract the fish to your bait when the water is murky. And any style of sinker to your choosing. So, for this rig, the main knot you need to learn is called the ledger rig knot. So, in the upcoming demonstration clip, I'll be using a thick rope for demonstration purposes and allow you to see how the final result should look like. So, I'll be demonstrating to you on how to tie this um, the ledger rig. I'm using a thicker rope because I want to be able to show you on detail on how the process works and the nylon would be tricky to see through the camera so um, yeah to start with what I would do is I would overlap the line like this and create a loop and where these lines overlap I will um, roll it six times and when I'm rolling as you can see I'm clearing a gap between here and this will allow the loop to go through here and um, on nylon it's a bit different but what I recommend you doing is um, pulling in all three directions in order for this to work but um, with a rope it's slightly a bit tricky but as you can see this is how the knot should look and um, if you pull it all three direction it will um, set the knot and that means like even if you pull it even if you pull it as you can see it will stay secure and it won't slip you really want to make sure your knot is set because the last thing you want is the knot to slip and the knot your rig to be um, badly damaged so there's a quick demonstration on how to tie a ledger rig on monofilament so what I do here is I just um, cross the line like this, make a loop and where the line crosses here I just wrap it seven times and as you can see I'm leaving a gap here and that gap is where the loop goes through and simply what I do is I just um, pull in all three directions simple as that so here's the end result of the ledger rig, as you can see, I'll just zoom that in, yep, that's how it's supposed to look, and yeah, I hope everyone found the demonstration helpful, and just to give you a tip, if you're struggling with this knot, just keep trying, for practice makes perfect. So as you can see, here, I got my ledger rig knot, and I made a loop. And what I simply done here is I tied a snap swivel at the end and at the bottom Oh no no no, this is a snap swivel, sorry And this is to connect my sinker And this swivel is to connect to my main line Now I'm going to show you how to connect your hook to this loop So what I simply do, instead of a Luma bead I got this Luma tube I just pass it through here That will help to attract the fish and what I simply do, this is my homemade flasher and I'm using a 4 bar KL. What I simply do is I pinch the end of the loop here 
pass it through the eye. And I open this loop, pass it forward, and just slowly pull it up. And that is the end result. And this is all complete. That is your ledger rig right here. So here is a rough drawing on how a ledger rig should work. Top is where the swivel is connected with a uni knot. The middle is where you apply the ledger rig knot. And depending on the size of the hook, or whether it is your personal preference, you can add as many ledger loops as you wish. And at the bottom, either a loop knot or I just tie a snap swivel to connect it to my sinker. So here are some extra tips and tricks I like to point out to everyone. When using small hooks for your ledger rig, I would just use a two hook ledger, whereas large hooks, I would only use one. When casting, the bait will spin around and that will create a drag which can reduce your distance. And my recommended tip is to use a one hook ledger, as this will prevent you to waste your bait too fast as well as increase your casting distance, unless you are using small hooks and small baits. To give you a rough guideline, here are the hook sizes and line weight I usually use when targeting certain species of fish that I know there may be around. When targeting trefali or kawai or any other fish species that doesn't require too much attention, I generally use free borrow hooks, circle hooks, and 50 pound tricks. I find this quite effective when targeting trefali as trefalis have small soft mouths and you need small hooks in order to catch them. For snapper or just general fishing, the smallest I would go for is 4 baro and up to 5 baro. The trace I would use 60 to 80 pound as the conditions might be rough, that is the bottom structure, or I could run into toothy predators. So here I have an illustration on what the ledger rig will look like when you are using it in any terrain situation and hopefully will give some viewers some guideline on when it is the right time to use the ledger rig. Just be aware that since it is a bottom rig and if the bottom has a lot of foul, it can get easy to get snagged. This rig can be tricky to use off the rocks, especially with there are lots of kelp, where it's too easy for the fish to drive into the weed and get your rig in a messy snag, which results a frustrating loss. So it's not exactly all perfect, but when it works, it is great. Of course, this is just one of many rigs out there that you can use to target snapper. For now, I wish everybody had learned a thing or two in this video, and I wish you good luck on your fishing session. If you wish to see more tutorial videos as well as my fishing adventures, make sure to like this video and subscribe for more fishing videos. Again, thank you for watching and I hope to see you all next time.